Are you looking for service sites without verification and want to know if they even exist? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael and I have tested hundreds of different paid service sites and I'm asked basically every single day if I can give a list of service sites where you do not need to verify with your phone number or ID or anything like that to get paid and therefore I decided to record this video because there are some very very important information you need to know before you chase around after service sites like that. So let me just start by saying that what I will tell you now here is based on real experiences. I have tested hundreds of paid service sites over the last seven, eight, nine years, and I have taken thousands of online surveys. And every single day, people ask me what service sites they can use that do not ask for verification. And let me just make it clear right away that you should actually become very suspicious when a service site is not asking for any kind of verification. And that also means that there are actually not any good service sites that I personally have come across after having tested hundreds of sites that will not ask for some kind of verification. It can be you know, different type of verification. Some might not be as scary as others. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But first, it's important to understand why it's actually a red flag when a service site is not asking for verification. So what you need to understand when it comes to paid service is that the reason we can earn by taking paid service is that there are companies that are willing to pay for that information because they use it for market research. And you maybe already know that, but just please follow me because this is very important to understand, to understand this whole concept of why they ask for verification and all that. Because the service sites or the companies that uh, hire the uh, service sites and all that to do this research for them there, they are of course only interested in real information because if they have a company and they want thousand people to uh, talk about something in a specific market, a specific product or something that they're to actually use for their marketing or to use to develop their product, it is useless for them to get a bunch of people that reply that this product is for example not relevant to. And the reality is just that there are a ton of people that try to cheat service sites. You know, it, it, you will probably be surprised how many scammers out there that actually try to not only just fake their country by using VPN, they also try to fake their profile, they try to give fake information, they try to use bots to answer and all this. And that of course means that the information that the companies will get, that's just useless if they were not careful. And that's why there's all these like things that can detect VPN and all kinds of things. But there are also scammers that find ways around this and they basically don't care about the, the companies that are paying for these services here are actually just real people also trying to run a business and trying to get this market information. They just want to uh, you know, get the money and they don't care who they will destroy um, on the road to earning. And service sites have realized this, that yes, they you know, can detect VPN. Uh, most of them have very good uh, ways to detect this and they uh, have ways to detect when people are rushing or giving inconsistent information, all this. But the reality is also that there are some people that will find ways to cheat these different systems and therefore they also have to ask for verification because before you then get paid they need to know like okay you know sometimes it's a phone verification sometimes you need to even show your ID because some service sites they really need to show or to see that it's a real person because they have experienced uh, losing a lot of money from this and I have actually seen service sites having to close down because scammers just attack them and they ended up uh, paying a lot of scammers a lot of money and then the information the companies got that was useless and and they just ended up not getting giving any money to the to the service sites or or the companies wasted a lot of money and, and companies have actually gone bankrupt because of this so this is why any service site that actually know what they're doing they will ask for some kind of verification and speaking of that let's just talk a little bit about these different types of verification so when it comes to verifying your identity on service sites, then there are different ways to do it. Some platforms will ask you to do it right when you sign up. Personally, I don't like when they ask for a phone number 
in the sign up process because if it's a brand new site that I have never seen before, I have not tested before, I don't know if it's legit yet and I don't mind verifying, for example, my phone number, or my ID, or my email, whatever it can be, if I know 100% sure that this is a legit company, a legit site. And if it's a brand new site, I don't know that right when I come across it. So, you know, personally, I don't really like that. I don't mind if I really, you know, know that it's a good site. But anyways, that's just my personal preferences. But there are sites that will ask for that right away when you sign up. But there are also a lot of sites that will ask for maybe phone verification or some kind of ID or other kind of verification before you get paid. And I have seen some people say like, oh, you know, I spent time, I earned, you know, $20 and then I was trying to take it out and they asked for verification and then they get upset about that. So let me just make it clear that if you join a paid service site that is legit, you should just assume that you will need to verify your identity somehow at some point. I cannot give a list, for example, of the sites that use phone ID verification or specific uh, type of verification, all that, because that changes all the time. Service sites have to try different things uh, to avoid the scammers. And, and therefore it can also you know, be different depending on the country you live in, depending if there's any flags with your behavior on the service sites and all that. So it doesn't really make sense to say like, oh, this site asks for that type of verification because that can change over time. And also some of the service sites that I'm talking about here, I've tested, you know, I maybe joined them five to six years ago. And at that time the verification was different than it is now, so you know, that changes all the time. But my point here is that if you come across a service site that does not ask for uh, some kind of verification, there is a good chance that either it's a scam that is just, you know, never going to actually pay you so they don't really care, or it is a service site that doesn't really know what they're doing and therefore there's a good chance that it won't actually last that long because if they do not ask for some kind of verification, there's a huge risk that all the scammers will just start attacking it and it will actually not be a sustainable platform. But it is of course extremely important that if you verify your ID somehow, you know, that you only do this on sites that you are sure are legit. And of course, also only share the information that you feel comfortable about sharing. So if you do not feel comfortable about uploading your ID, then when you join us a platform, contact their support, ask them, you know, at what time do I need to verify? What type of verification do I need? And then there you can decide before you start spending time there if it is a platform you want to use or not. But let me just talk a little bit more about how you can then easily find some of the legit sites that I actually recommend that I have tested that I have the best results with. So as mentioned, it's extremely important that you find the legit sites to get the most out of paid service and where you can also feel safe. Of course, it's always a good idea to read the terms and services and contact the supports if you have any questions before for verifying your identity. Um, and, you know, be careful if you come across any platforms that have exaggerated earning claims. Don't give your phone number to those platforms and things like that. So but. I do have list of the best service sites for a number of different countries. These lists, for example, you see US, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, you know, all these different countries here. These lists are built manually based on, you know, testing hundreds of sites, talking to thousands of people, talking to, you know, hundreds of companies. And based on all that, I put these lists together of the best service sites in different countries because the best legit sites in one country is not necessarily the best legit sites in another country. So in all these countries here, I have built lists manually and I keep updating them when I come across new good options and remove some uh, if they are no longer good options. And I also do have like international ones. So if your country is not on this list, you can just go there. That's then the best international site. So this is an easy way if you want to get started quickly with some of the sites that in my experience are the best. Then I'll leave a link to this list here below. Then you can go there and check that out. But no matter what, I hope this video helped you. I get this question about service sites without verification every single day. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about it because it's very important to understand why you should expect to verify your identity somehow if you want to earn by taking paid service. If you don't want to do any verification, well then honestly, you should not expect to earn from paid service. That's just how it is. And I hope this video has helped you understand why that is. And if the video helped you, please make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time I release a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.